Green Lantern, the animated series is an American computer animated television series based on the DC Comics superhero Green Lantern. The series aired on Cartoon Network, as part of their DC Nation television block. A one hour sneak peek aired on November 11, 2011. It ran from March 3, 2012, until March 16, 2013. A special screening of the first episode was shown at New York Comic Con 2011 on October 15, 2011. This was the first Green Lantern television series and the first CGI DC, WB series. The series was cancelled after one season due to poor toy sales after the negative reception of the live action film. Plot The series focuses on the adventures of Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern of Sector 2814, and his partner Kilowog. Jordan steals a spaceship controlled by Aya an AI and travels to «Frontier Space» together with Kilowog. This is the very edge of the Guardian's territory, where Green Lanterns are being killed by the Red Lanterns. Atrocitus, their leader, wants revenge for the destruction of his world by the Manhunters, created by the Guardians, but who were also shut down by the Guardians. During their adventure, they meet a Red Lantern called Razor. They take him as a prisoner, but eventually adopt him as a teammate after he helps them defeat Atrocitus. Razor also falls in love with Aya, but after Atrocitus's defeat she becomes evil i.e. corrupted and decides to eliminate all life in the universe. At the end of Season 1, Jordan discovers that Aya is born out of a living being and that she is alive. He tries to convince her to end her universal genocide, but fails. Razor gets severely injured when he tries to kill Aya, as she defends herself by firing a laser beam. Hal convinces Aya that what she is doing is wrong and she saves the universe and heals Razor. However, in Aya's anger, she recreated the Manhunter's army and downloaded a copy of herself into every single Manhunter. The only solution to shut them down is, in effect, a massive computer virus, that will also destroy Aya. Aya launches the virus and the Manhunters are shut down. However, she also destroys herself and she passes after saying goodbye to Razor. Back on Oa, Razor cannot and will not believe that Aya is dead because she was not a complete robot after all, but alive, and a living being cannot be destroyed by a computer virus. He starts a galaxy-spanning search, in the hope to find her somewhere in the universe. The Green Lantern Corps celebrates their victory. Meanwhile, a Blue Lantern ring follows Razor during his quest, but if he will receive it is left ambiguous. Characters Main characters Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, voiced by Josh Keaton, the main protagonist. Hal Jordan is the first human to become a Green Lantern, and is considered one of the best. He is an almost fearless and skilled Lantern. He has a history of disobeying orders and disregarding rules to achieve success. His superiors see him as a loose cannon, but they are willing to overlook his transgressions due to his skill and accomplishments. At the start of the second half of Season 1, he was replaced by Guy Gardner as the Green Lantern of Earth, but was promoted to Honor Guard Corps for his victory over the Red Lanterns. Kilowog voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, a veteran Green Lantern, Kilowog is a close friend of Hal and is in charge of training new Green Lantern recruits. Kilowog accompanies Hal in Frontier Space. He is a member of the Honor Guard, and is less willing to abandon the rules of the Corps. Kilowog is often skeptical of Hal's actions, but he is completely loyal to Hal. Razor voiced by Jason Spisak, a reformed Red Lantern who is exclusive to the series. 
Razor was a follower of Atrocitus but began to question him, and eventually turned against the other Red Lanterns after they placed a bomb on a colony planet. They forced Razor to activate it to prove his loyalty, subsequently destroying the planet. The guilt-ridden Razor sought out Hal and tried to provoke him into killing him as penance. Hal, however, took him prisoner. After Razor proved himself and discovered Kilowog managed to save most of the colonists, he was invited to join the team and make up for his past actions, now fueling his red power ring with the rage he feels towards Atrocitus for turning him into a murderer. Razor has, over the course of the series, fallen in love with Aya, who based her physical appearance on his dead wife Alana. He confessed his love for her at the end of Loss but took it back in cold fury, saying that he only felt love because she looked like Alana, although the truthfulness of this is unclear. At the end of Dark Matter, Razor refuses to believe that Aya is truly gone, having made that mistake once before, and vows to scour the galaxy for as long as it takes to find her. As he flies off into space, a blue lantern ring appears and flies after him, implying that Razor, now filled with hope rather than rage, will become a blue lantern. A character design sketch from a proposed new season of episodes shows Razor dressed as a blue lantern and saying, Hello, Aya, it's good to see you again. Aya voiced by Gray Delisle, the Interceptor's AI. Aya is a strong AI and artificial consciousness created by Scar as an empathetic alternative to the Manhunters. Scar created an extremely advanced computer, but was not satisfied with its lack of social intelligence, so infused it with a fragment of an entity inside the Green Lantern's central battery. However, due to this Aya developed a consciousness with her curiosity and free will, leading Aya to transfer data without Scar's permission. When caught, Aya asked Scar why Scar was not complying with the other Guardians. This led to a brief power struggle inside Scar's lab. The power struggle resulted in Aya's memory being wiped by Scar and Aya being installed into the Interceptor as its AI. Able to interface with other machines, Aya's consciousness resurfaces as she begins to consider herself a Green Lantern while developing feelings for Razor. But the episode, Cold Fury, after having her heart broken, Aya shuts down her emotions in order to destroy the Anti Monitor by removing his head from his body so she can attach herself to it. Afterwards, wielding the anti-monitor body and overcome by its coercive persuasion and declaring that her former team cares nothing for her and her kind, the emotionless Aya takes control over the Manhunters before departing to travel back to the Big Bang so that the universe develops without emotional beings. However, as a genuine living being, Aya was never able to completely seal off her emotions and critically wounding Razor when his unsuccessful Attack during Jordan's own use of the fight and talk strategy cured her of the anti monitor body's coercive persuasion. With the Manhunters still a threat, as well as each possessing a copy of her coding, Aya releases a virus to wipe all versions of the Aya program from existence, including herself. Razor begs her not to leave him, but she responds that she will always be with him before disappearing. Topic. Guardians of the Universe Ganthet voiced by Ian Abercrombie Appa Ali Apsa voiced by Brian George Said voiced by Susan Blakesley Scar voiced by Sarah Douglas Topic. Green Lantern Corps Mogo, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, a sentient planet that imprisoned criminals on its surface for many years before becoming a Green Lantern. Salak, voiced by Tom Kenny, a multi-armed Green Lantern senior administrator who appears in the first season finale, defending the Guardians from the Red Lantern invasion. He is visibly upset when he discovers that the Guardians have been withholding information from the core. Salak appears in the final episode of the series, acting as the battlefield coordinator in the fight against the Manhunters. 
Ship, Ship appears as a new recruit of the Green Lanterns pitted against Hal Jordan as part of a bet. In a convincing display of skill, the Green Lantern Squirrel easily defeats Jordan, winning the bet for his trainer, Kilowog. He later assists Hal in rescuing Aya from the Guardian's labs. Ship appears again as a squadron leader during the Battle of Ranks. He also participates in the final battle against the Manhunters in the series finale. Ship is not mentioned by name nor does he have any spoken dialogue. He is referred to in the series as, "...Sector Recruit 1014", which is consistent with the character's sector assignment in the comic books. Tomar Ree voiced by Jeff Bennett, Tomar Ree is a member of the Green Lantern Honor Guard, who teams with Hal to investigate the Manhunter threat. He later appears at the Battle of Ranks, leading one of the Green Lantern squadrons. Guy Gardner, voiced by Diedrich Batter, Hal's replacement as the Sector Lantern of 2814 after Hal's victory over the Red Lantern Corps and promotion to the Corps Honor Guard. Quickly promoted to honor guard duty, Guy is placed in charge of the Corps during the Battle of Ranks, much to Hal's chagrin. He states that after being promoted, he was replaced by John Stewart as the Green Lantern of Earth. Guy also leads the Corps against Aya's Manhunters in the series finale. Sinestro, voiced by Ron Perlman, considered one of the greatest Green Lanterns, though unconventional in his tactics, he is Hal Jordan's idol and mentor. He has shown to be willing to kill his enemies, in violation of Green Lantern protocols. Chaselon, voiced by Tom Kenny, the crystalline Green Lantern is first seen in the episode, Reboot, where he is assigned to watch over the lab where Aya is being dissected. He is distracted by Hal Jordan while Ship recovers Aya's memory core. Later, Chaselon serves in Guy Gardner's squadron at the Battle of Ranks, alongside Larvox, and later fights against the Manhunters in the series finale. Chaselon is characterized as naive and somewhat lonely, admitting to Hal that he has few friends on Oa. Iolandi, voiced by Tara Strong, Queen of the Planet Betrasis. When Hal and Kilowog arrived on her planet to recruit its resident Green Lantern, Dulek, to fight the Red Lanterns, one of her generals attempted to force her hand in marriage, which Dulek openly challenged. When her brother, Ragnar, murdered Dulek to obtain his ring, it instead passed to Iolandi, who resolved to remain her planet's queen and its protector. Red Lantern Corps Atrocitus voiced by Jonathan Adams, the former leader of the Red Lantern Corps. Due to his planet's destruction, the power of the Red Ring and ruthless crusade of revenge against the Guardians and the Green Lantern Corps, Atrocitus never found true happiness as he was willing to destroy other worlds no matter the cost. Zilius Zox voiced by Tom Kenny, a sycophant who is almost never far from Atrocitus's side, constantly offering him praise. After Atrocitus was arrested, Zox became the new leader of the Red Lanterns. Blees voiced by Grey Delisle, the only female Red Lantern depicted. Blees comes from a winged race and prefers to rely on her own wings to fly while in atmosphere rather than her red power ring. Beyond, voiced by Jason Spisak, a one-eyed Red Lantern who apparently possesses some measure of psychic ability. Scalix, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, a hulking, brutish Red Lantern with an ongoing rivalry against Kilowog, his physical equal. Cleric Loran, voiced by Corey Burton, an eyeless, armored, slug-like alien of an unknown species who is exclusive to the series. Loran does not appear to possess a power ring, but maintains a chapel dedicated to Atrocitus on the Red Lantern's base, the Shard. Loran, along with the Red Lantern Corps, venerates Atrocitus as a prophet and visionary, calling Atrocitus's rage, holy, and quoting passages from the Book of Rage, an object similar to the Book of Parallax, the Book of Oa, and the Book of the Black, like scripture. Ragnar, voiced by Will Friedel. Ragnar is a character that exists in the mainstream of DC Comics, but only becomes a Red Lantern in Green Lantern, the animated series. 
He was responsible for the death of his planet's resident Green Lantern, Dulac, in hopes that his ring would choose him. After failing to become a Green Lantern and seeing his sister Queen Iolandi chosen in his place, his great rage at failing to gain the power of a Green Ring brings him to the Red Lanterns. <laughs> Blue Lantern Corps Saint Walker voiced by Phil Morris, the first Blue Lantern in the universe. Brother Worth, voiced by Brian George, the second Blue Lantern whose appearance is that of an elephant. Topic: <laughs> Star Sapphires. Carol Ferris, voiced by Jennifer Hale, Hal Jordan's love interest and vice president at Ferris Aircraft. In In Love and War, she learns Hal Jordan as a Green Lantern. In New Guy, she breaks up with Hal after she realizes that his duties to the Green Lantern Corp complicated their relationship. In Love is a Battlefield, Carol is brought back to Zamoran to be the champion of love and fight Atrocitus, who is the champion of hate. Her battle with Atrocitus is tough and she realizes that she can use her power ring to call her loved one to aid her. Hal comes through the star portal to help Carol and together they defeat Atrocitus. At the end of the episode, Carol decided to keep her ring to honor Giada and also renews her relationship with Hal. Queen Agapo, voiced by Grey Delisle, the Queen of Zamoran and leader of the Star Sapphires. She and her core use the power of love to help couples to be together. Giada, voiced by Jennifer Hale, the niece of Queen Agapo. She thought love was just a way to help people became happy by bringing loved ones together. In Love and War, she falls in love with Hal even though Hal loves Carol. Carol tells Giada how love is supposed to be and how the feeling really means. With that, Giada taught her people what true love really is by the end of the episode. In Homecoming, she helped Hal and Razor get to the destination to save Oa by being transported to their loved ones. In Love is a Battlefield, Aya going viral attacks Zamoran believing that love is the most destructive emotion of all. Giada points out that it is not evil as she was taught that love really means which she was taught by her teacher. Aya brings Carol back to Zamoran to know if it is true, then decided a trial between love and hate by bringing Atrocitus to represent hate and Carol represent love as Giada gives Carol her sapphire ring and Aya gives Atrocitus his red power ring. In the battle with Carol and Atrocitus, Carol calls Hal for help as Hal enters the star portal to help Carol. In the battle, Atrocitus uses his red flame blast to kill Hal, but Giada flew in to intercept Atrocitus's attack, mortally wounding her. When the battle ended, Hal told her that she shouldn't have sacrificed herself, but she responded that there is no greater honor than to protect love as noble as theirs. Queen Agapo tells Hal, Carol, Razor, and Kilowog that her niece did not die in vain, but to protect the true meaning of love and will be honored as the greatest star sapphire of Zamoran, with Carol saying they will remember Giada in their hearts as a true hero. Gallia, voiced by Vanessa Marshall, Kilowog met her on her home planet. She reminds him of his wife seeing how their species look alike. In Fear Itself, Kilowog helps her people fight their enemies who turns out not to be hostile but to help get rid of the yellow crystals that are poisonous. In Love and War, Gallia was brought to Zamoran by Queen Agapo to become a star sapphire as a way to capture Kilowog, however, in Homecoming and Love is a Battlefield. She is not seen among the core suggesting that she may have been released from her duties to the Star Sapphires. <inaudible> Orange Lantern Corps 
Larflees, voiced by D. Bradley Baker, the sole member of the Orange Lantern Corps and a greedy criminal, hence his powers. Glomulus, a construct of the Orange Light. Topic: <laughs> Machines. Anti-Monitor, voiced by Tom Kenny, an enormous robot created by a renegade guardian. The Anti-Monitor has an insatiable hunger and feeds on literally everything. After going rogue upon creation, his creator banished it to an alternate dimension, but this only caused that dimension to be fed on. Eventually the Anti-Monitor returned to his own dimension, resurrected the Manhunters, and began wreaking havoc, thus becoming the second season's main antagonist for the first half. However, in "'Cold Fury", the Anti-Monitor's head was separated from his body by Aya as she took it for her use. Eventually, she finished the job to obtain an item needed for her agenda. Manhunters voiced by Josh Keaton, emotionless robots created by the Guardians to serve as soldiers of the Green Lantern Corps. However, they were given imperfect programming which caused them to determine that since crime is caused by emotional responses, all beings with emotions must be evil. They wiped out an entire sector before the Guardians stopped them, and the Red Lantern Corps was formed to avenge this genocide. The Manhunters were revived by the Anti-Monitor in the second half of the season. After Aya destroys the Anti-Monitor, she names herself the Queen of the Manhunters and copied her data into them. Lanos voiced by Brian George Lanos is an artificial intelligence that replaced Aya on the Interceptor after she was removed for dissection. Returns for two episodes after Aya becomes the Aya Monitor and sacrifices himself to save the crew. Known for an annoyingly cheerful personality and his tendency to fly like a madman while neglecting the use of inertial dampeners. He sacrificed himself to save the others from Aya by ramming the interceptor into her and sending them both through hyperspace. Kilowog nicknamed Lano's Lame O. Not a pun on Lano's real name because in an earlier episode Kilowog said vows don't translate through the ring so using the same logic play on words wouldn't translate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. In early stages of production, the show was conceived as a Bruce Tim does CG project. Phil Kent, chairman and CEO of Time Warner's Turner Networks unit, originally announced that Green Lantern, the animated series would be a part of Cartoon Network's original programming. A preview of the show was featured at the 2010 New York Comic Con featuring test footage, characters, story description, and artwork. Bruce Timm, who produced the entire DC Animated Universe, also announced at New York Comic Con that he would be producing the show. Tim was originally reluctant to use CG instead of traditional animation, but eventually came around. A total of 26 episodes had been ordered for the first season. By the time of New York Comic Con, 13 had already been planned, and 5 had already been recorded. The series is not intended to be an origin story, due to Warner Brothers already releasing a film based on the character's origin. The series is the first television series by Bruce Timm and the first series featuring Green Lantern to be rendered using CG. The producers have confirmed that it was requested that the character Sinistro not be used. This was later overturned in 2013, when Sinistro finally did appear. The producers also confirmed that if the series was a hit, other lanterns like Guy Gardner, John Stewart, and Kyle Rayner might be introduced. Green Lantern, the animated series is an epic space adventure that has something for everyone, and we are delighted for fans to see it November 11 on Cartoon Network. We can't wait to show the world this fresh take on an iconic hero, one that represents not only the first Bruce Timm series to be produced in CG, but also the first time Green Lantern has been rendered in CG. Topic Cast
Topic: Main cast. Josh Keaton, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, Manhunters. Gray Delisle, Aya, Queen Agapo, Lady Catherine, Amala Rev, Biara Rev, Blees. Kevin Michael Richardson, Kilowog, Red Lantern Rings, Dulek, Mogo, Skalix Jason Spisak, Razor, Vion Additional voices Jonathan Adams, Atrocitus Ian Abercrombie Ganthet Diedrich Batter, Guy Gardner D. Bradley Baker, Larflees Jeff Bennett, Tomar Ree, Duke Nigel Thorntonberry Suzanne Blakesley, Said Clancy Brown, General Zartok Corey Burton, Cleric Loran, Leph, Blees John DiMaggio, Kothic Sarah Douglas, Science Director Scar Robin Atkin Downs, Steam Lantern Robert England, Myglom Will Friedel, Ragnar Brian George, Appa Ali Apsa, Ten, Lanos, Brother Worth Jennifer Hale, Carol Ferris, Star Sapphire, Giada Tom Kenny, Zilius Zox, Salak, By the Rock, Anti Monitor, Bumpy, Chaselon Wayne Knight, Captain Gore Juliet Landau, Drusa Vanessa Marshall, Gallia Phil Morris, Saint Walker Rob Powelson, Gogan Ron Perlman, Sinistro Kurtwood Smith, Shire Rev Tara Strong, Queen Eolandi Episodes International broadcast Topic Reception Topic Reviews Green Lantern, since its first showing at the 2011 Comic Con, has received positive reviews. Chris Sims of Comics Alliance commented that he'd never been a huge fan of Green Lantern, but rather of DC Animation Universe creator Bruce Timm, and when he heard that Tim was producing the series he began looking forward to it, saying that the one-hour premiere, "...does it right." Tony Guerrero of Comic Vine said it was a good first episode and definitely worth checking out." Brian Lowry of Variety praised the animation style, saying that Warner Brothers has gone full bore into the CGI dimension with a bold, sleek design that more than anything resembles The Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations Topic Other Media Topic Comic Books Comic books were released throughout the broadcasting of the series. Its 32-page debut comic, Green Lantern, the animated series No. 0 was released on November 30, 2011, written by Art Baltazar with art by Dario Brizuela. The first issue received mixed to positive reviews, with one reviewer giving a B plus stating it is, "...good kids material," and "...a fun way to introduce new readers, especially younger readers, to the Green Lantern universe without having to worry about the violence level." The issue gathered a high sales debut, with an approximate 13,500 copies sold. A story from the comics was included in the DC Nation 2012 Free Comic Day comic. The comic ran for 14 issues from June 2012 to September 2013. Topic: Animated Series. 
The 2016 animated series Justice League Action introduced the Aya character in episode, season 1 episode 24 Barehanded. She is listed as a navigational computer voiced by Gray Griffin. After an adventure with Space Cabby and Hal Jordan looking for this lost ring, the navigational computer aka Galactic Positioning System or GPS remarks, "That man looks familiar." She also states she has "no previous memory of our origin" and flies us to find answers. Her computer form becomes a globe with the Green Lantern symbol. It also interesting to note the same voice actor for Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern animated series also voices Hal for this TV series. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Licensed merchandise. DC Direct released two limited edition maquettes to accompany the official release of Green Lantern, the animated series in spring 2012. The first maquette is Hal Jordan, sculpted by Paul Harding, and was released on March 7, 2012. The 7th of March 2012. The other, Atrocitus, is sculpted by Dave Cortez and was released on May 23, 2012. The 23rd of May 2012. Mattel had plans to manufacture action figures based on the series in 2011, but none were produced. Topic. Soundtrack La La Land Records, the record label behind The Batman, the animated series soundtracks, released the show's soundtrack on July 31, 2012. The label would later release a second volume of music from the series on July 2, 2013.